oh, and I'm already feeling dazed from that. Jake, if I pass out, you need to save me. This is kind of fun doing them slow like that. Jake and I actually know a couple of channels that do the workouts that aren't that hard. <laughs> no wonder why they do them that way. <laughs> a lot easier <laughs> than actually giving it 100%. I should have seen Jake when I told him about the accident. He was actually laughing at first. And then he tried to one up me. He's like, I got ran over by a tank when I was back in the military once. It's crazy, man. <laughs> and I was like, what? Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. It's a beautiful Sunday, and you may wonder why I have this nice, shiny new helmet in my hands. And the reason for that is I'll actually tell you the story. So Wednesday, if you live in Chicago and you're familiar with Clark Street, I was riding down Clark, headed south in the bike lane. If you've been watching my channel, you'll see that I ride my bike a lot. So literally, that's my tr form of transportation to get everywhere. I don't have a car. I bike everywhere. So I'm heading south on Clark, just past Division, and as I'm riding, I see the cars next to us, which are parked along the street. One of them starts to slowly turn its way out. So I realized that it was gonna pull out, so I actually swerved out of the way, and then they accelerated, and they hit me. So they hit me with the side of their bumper. I flew in the air. I actually kind of landed on my hip, my shoulder, and then my head smacked the ground. But I had my helmet on, which is really good. So all you people out there in Chicago, especially that ride without helmets, hey, this is a cautionary tale to you. I suggest start starting to wear a helmet. I actually didn't always wear a helmet. <gasps> Luckily, I started wearing one. So actually, the side of my helmet, I'm getting close here so you can see. So there's this foam stuff. This is, this is my new helmet, but my old helmet, this part right here was all foam. That part actually cracked a little. So that's where my head hit. I was upset, obviously, I was pissed off. The girl gets out, she's really young, she's like 18 years old, and then she's like, oh, I'm usually such a great driver. <laughs> I'm thinking, really? For what, like the six months that you've had your license? And so anyway, so I walk my, I walk my bike to the bike shop. Actually, for, well, first I called non-emergency police. They asked if they should send out a ambulance, and I said no, because I think I was still in shock, you know, I just, I noticed some, my shin hurt and my Achilles. I actually have a couple bruises now. I walk my bike to the bike shop, drop it off. You know, I ask him to fix it, call my client. I was actually supposed to train one person and I was supposed to train the soccer team after that. Told them that I got hit by a car. I wasn't sure if I should train. And they're like, yeah, of course you shouldn't train. <laughs> so, <laughs> I don't know. Head home. Then that's when the headache set in and uh, I started to get really tired and if you're familiar with concussions you're not supposed to sleep when you have a concussion so luckily my fiance headed home when I called her and told her I got hit by a car and she kept me up and I'll admit I was actually really annoyed because I just wanted to go to bed and I, I was annoyed at the time but I'm thankful now that she was watching over me and kept me up so next day tried to train again was repeating myself a lot and my clients had to repeat themselves to me I was forgetting stuff so long story short had a minor concussion, some bumps and bruises, and my bike got messed up as well. Fast forward, now it's Sunday. That was about three or four days ago. And I'm back, and I'm back to do a workout. We're going to do a circuit training workout. So we're gonna be on for 45 seconds and 15 second rest period. 10 different exercises. Without further ado, let's do this. We're gonna start in five, four, three, two, one. And we're starting with the jump rope. No explanation needed here. If you don't know how to jump rope, don't watch my video. I don't want you. <laughs> That's just the concussion speaking. <laughs> don't mind me. All right. <laughs> Jake's had plenty of concussions in his day. <laughs> I've had... Uh, I know I had one before this. If I had any before that, I just never remembered them, I guess. <laughs> 10 more seconds. <laughs> and two, one. All right, so next thing we're gonna do is push-ups. Just standard push-ups. And actually, while I do those, I'll tell you the funny story about my last concussion. So we're gonna start in four, three, Two, one, all right. So my last concussion, I was actually, it was during a indoor soccer game. And what happened was I was shielding the ball and there was someone behind me 
and he tripped me and his body weight fell on me as I fell. So I actually didn't have time to brace my fall with my arms. So I'll just quick show you. So it was like I was falling like this without my arms, boom, and just smacked the ground with him on top of me. So I just remember getting really pissed off and I jumped up and then I grabbed him and I put him in a rear naked chokehold and I literally would not let this guy go. I just was trying to choke him out. I don't know until what happened, but I was just trying to choke this guy out. <laughs> and then literally his whole team <laughs> just tackled me to get me off of him. And then I ripped my shirt off and I got ejected from the game. Um, afterward, part of the reason why I knew I was a concussion is because I didn't, I didn't know how I got there. I didn't know where I was going. I didn't know what I was supposed to do. Next to the deadlift, by the way. And so yeah, that was my first concussion. Good times. And I actually went back and apologized to the guy on uh, another game. I actually got kicked out of that league for the rest of the year. So <laughs> it doesn't pay to get upset like that, but I clearly wasn't in my normal mindset state because I normally would not do that. I'm a very even keeled, level-headed person. So don't do that, folks. Not good. <laughs> You'll get kicked out of the soccer leagues. Not fun. And there we go. All right, deadlifts down. All right, next we're gonna do the arm extended flexions. So for this, I'm stacking my feet, flexing my triceps, kind of forming this 90 degree angle with my shoulder. And now we're just gonna flex. So we're gonna go down, flex up, flex down, flex up. And we're gonna stick with the side for the whole 40, five seconds, because we're doing three rounds for a grand total of 30 minutes worth of the workout. And again, keep your head neutral, get a nice full range of motion. So you should be feeling that here, here, right? Keep going, if that's too challenging, go down the forearm, okay? Done those before, but if not, Take it to the next level. Arm extended. Woo, all right. Next are the tuck jumps. Not looking forward to these, not gonna lie. All right, so tuck jumps, remember, you're squatting down, okay? Jumping up and I'm bringing my knees up as high as I can. Oh, and I'm already feeling dazed from that. Jake, if I pass out, you need to save me. <laughs> that sounded really weird. All right. <laughs> I don't care, I want to be saved. All right. All right. Not going quick as fast as I normally do because my neck is actually a little sore, not gonna lie. 20 more seconds. This is still tough. Remember, you want to just be explosive. Bring your knees up as high as you can. You want to be light on that landing. We're almost there. One more. Woo. All right. So next, we're gonna do the kickouts. So I'm starting. Hands and feet about shoulder width apart. Now opposite arm, opposite leg. I'm gonna rotate. And I'm gonna kick my leg up. Okay. So here we go. We're starting. So I'm gonna rotate, kick my leg up. Now we're also gonna keep our elbow tight to our head. Okay. So we're rotating, kicking up. We're drawing our elbow in as well. So this is gonna be upper body strength, flexibility, mobility, core, hips, legs, all that good stuff. Keep it going. Don't step. 10 more seconds. And we're on a break. All right, next are the squat, curl, jump and presses, okay? So I'm gonna grab my moderate amount of dumbbells. I'm gonna get into that in about two, one. Here we go. Squat, curl, neutral grip, jump and press. Squat, curl, jump and press. We're doing it. 
we're having fun. This is a blast. Hopefully you're all enjoying your summers. It was a scorcher in Chicago today. It's about 90 degrees and humid. We're not used to that. Lately we've been getting a lot of rain. Oh, and I see one of Jake's clients walking along the sidewalk over there. I don't even know if she's walking. I think she's crawling because she's so hurt from his last session. <laughs> All right, there we go, setting it down. Okay, so next, we're going to do the V-sits. So the V-sits, I'm gonna lie on my back, okay? My legs are extended, arms are extended, and I'm just gonna crunch up, back down. And we're going. So crunching up, stabilizing, back down. Stabilizing, back down. Here we go. I love it. Feeling the burn. Don't worry about how many you get. Focus on your form. And we're doing well. 15 seconds left. Keep going. Don't stop. Feel the burn. And there we go. All right, next, dips. So for dips, I actually have my trusty little box set up here. Bring that in the camera. You see that, Jake? All right, good. All right, so for dips, legs extended. Okay, arms a little wider than shoulder width. Going about nine degrees, and we're back up. Okay. So we want to focus on, we're hitting your triceps, we're hitting your shoulders, we're hitting a little bit of chest, and we're feeling the burn. Keep your heads, your neutral and your neck elongated. Keep your cores nice and tight. Close up, that's what I like to see. Show those pearly whites. <laughs> Maybe that would be my... Uh, <laughs> thumbnail for the video. Look out. <laughs> for all of you out there that don't produce these videos, there's a lot to go into it, let me tell you. Such as thumbnails and sharing, and uploading, and editing, and blah, blah, blah. Needless to say, that's not the part, fun part. The fun part is doing the workouts and seeing you guys do the workouts. All right, here we go. Burpees. Burpees. Ooh, I forgot to do a little push up in there, here we go. So we're just doing a standard bur burpee. Kick your legs out, get that full extension, into a push up, up and jump. Also you'll notice like, yeah, some different shoes on today. Got the Nike Metcons, what? <laughs> I actually got these from Nike when they, when I worked with them over the last month and a half, so I definitely recommend them. Very comfy, great for training. Actually, my buddy Ryan told me that somebody tried to wear them during the CrossFit games and they banned them because CrossFit is sponsored by Reebok. All right, that's it. And so they banned them from the CrossFit games. But ultimately, I think that's good publicity for Nike because that just shows that they're scared for not allowing those in the CrossFit games because these shoes are sick. All right, here we go. <laughs> Back to the jump rope. Let's go get a pair. Nike, please sponsor me. Please sponsor my channel. <laughs> All right. Feeling good. Turn to wake up. Have an exercise since Wednesday, since the accident. Should have seen Jake when I told him about the accident. He was actually laughing at first. And he's like, oh, dude, I got. And then he tried to one up me. He's like, I got ran over by a tank when I was back in the military once. It's crazy, man. And I was like, what? And I called out his. his lie and then he admitted <laughs> he didn't really get ran over by a tank <laughs> it was actually a dog <laughs> that ran into him and didn't even run him over <laughs> all right send that down all right <laughs> next we're doing the push-ups <laughs> great story by the way all right <laughs> rough in the four three two one here we go <laughs> right. Having fun today. I love it. 
Got to have fun while we exercise, right? This is kind of fun doing them slow like that. Jake and I actually know a couple of channels that do the workouts that aren't that hard. <laughs> no wonder why they do them that way. <laughs> a lot easier <laughs> than actually giving it 100%. Not that I'm not giving it 100%, I'm just not at 100%. This is still probably harder than their 100%. I'm not gonna name any specific names. You all out there know, you watch fitness channels, which ones I'm talking about. Whew. Whew. Jake knows, maybe he'll mention which one I'm talking about in his next channel. All right, <laughs> in his next workout, I should say. Deadlifts next, quick sip, I need it. Actually, no, we're not gonna do that because then we're gonna get hate. Don't want that, and we're not hateful people. We actually are pro whatever gets someone motivated, whatever gets some results, I'm all for. So, I'm just kind of joking, having some fun today. But hey, this is great, we're only, almost halfway through. Look at that, should tell more stories. Whew. Maybe I should tell the story about Jake eating a donut. That was earlier today. <laughs> Check out his channel, maybe he'll post it. All right, 10 more seconds. I'm sure that donut was infused with like protein or something though. <laughs> Cause he's a bro. All right, good. <laughs> Let's set these down. All right, next. We're into the arm extended flexion. All right, we're up in five, four, three, two. Oh, other side, one area to that side, switch sides. Folks, get that nice full range of motion. Man, these Metcons are just giving me a lot of stability. I love it. Makes the exercise so much more effective. <laughs> You've made it through so far. Leave a comment with what's been the toughest exercise so far. Ooh, this one's getting tough on my arm. There's something to go down to my forearm because this is actually the shoulder that I fell on. That did not feel good. Actually, I'm not even gonna do that. I gotta stop on that one. All right, sorry folks. I guess I'm still a little injured, more injured than I thought. All right, next we're gonna do the tuck jumps. All right, so tuck jumps are coming up in five, four, three, two, one. Here we go. Going. Push, push to wherever you can. Ooh, these are brutal. 45 seconds of these. You take a picture. I also have to promote myself all over all kinds of platforms, so I'm asking Jake to take a picture on his phone so I can put it on Instagram. That's how I do it. Ah. All right, next, we're going into the hip outs, folks. So we're up in another five seconds. This is not an easy workout. Don't be fooled. Here we go. But it's an effective workout, that's for sure. Again, get that rotation. You're extending your leg. I'm flexing my tricep. Elbows close to my side, hips are up. Opposite arm, opposite leg. Keep it going. Doing well. We're almost there. Don't stop. Won't stop. Can't stop. All right, there we go. Next, the squat, curl, jump, and press. Go ahead and grab those dumbbells. Don't need much for this workout, just the dumbbells, a jump rope, and some sort of ledge to do the dips on. Here we go. Squat, curl, jump, and press. Front view. Squat, curl, jump, and press. 
Ooh, the sweat's dripping down. Doing well. Oh, my arms are getting fatigued, especially my left. I'm getting annoyed because I'm clearly not 100% from that accident. But I'm trying to push through, folks. Actually, I'm going to set that one down. I'm not even going to mess around. There's no point. Why prolong the injury? All right. All right. Done with that. All right. Next, we have the V-sits. The V-sits. Actually, we're going to adjust the workout slightly for the next exercise because I am not going to put my shoulder in any compromising positions. Here we go. V-sits. Almost there. Five seconds. One more. Woo, good. All right, so next, instead of the dips, we're gonna change it up. We're going to go into a plank and put our legs out to the side. If you wanna still do the dips, feel free to do those. But I'm gonna do this. We're up in, now. Just bring our leg out, touching, back in. Bring our leg out, touching, back in. Keep that core nice and tight. Maintain that straight line. And just bring your leg up and around as far as you can. Doing well, 15 seconds left. there keep going four three two one Woo. oh dripping sweat okay next are the burpees we're up in five four three two one here we go down out and jump I'm actually gonna take out the push-up also I'm just go down and out and jump Again, don't be afraid to modify the exercise if you have to. I know I always tell individuals if they can't do something, and hey, look at that. For once, I'm the one who can't do it, so I'm the one who has to adjust. Keep going. Feel the burn. Almost there. And whoo! All right. Couldn't even get that last one in. That's how tiring those are. All right, quick sip. We're on to the last round. 45 on, 15 off. Here we go. Oh, I already missed like two seconds. Oh, five seconds. Here we go. This Jake was giving me that face. Wait, that grin off your face, Jake. Sometimes I think this guy's got to learn some manners. <laughs> 20 seconds left. <laughs> All right. We're picking it up for the last 10 seconds. Almost there. And woo. All right, next, push-ups. I'm gonna slightly modify what I'm doing, but I want you all to do push-ups. So what I'm gonna do, and feel free to do the same thing I'm doing is, I'm gonna start in a plank, and I'm just gonna go up on that right arm, and then I'm gonna go back down. I'm gonna go up, actually, to make it a little more challenging. I'll lift my leg up, and then I'm back down. Go up, and then I'm back down. 
Ooh, this is kind of a good one. I actually like this. It's like I might have a new exercise for my clients. This is challenging. Keep it going. Fifteen seconds left, folks. Stay with me. Feeling the burn. One more. And good. All right. Next are the deadlifts. Grab those dumbbells. This one got out all the way over there somehow. All right. Go ahead and grab that. We're up in two. One. So for the deadlifts, you want to keep your spine extended. Okay, just a slight bend in the knees, but more of a hinge in your hips. That's what you're looking for. So right here, I'm gonna form a hinge. So I can actually feel my finger getting pinched there if I hold my finger on my hips. We're doing well. Keep going. Going for another 15 seconds. Ten more seconds. And, all right, send those down. Okay, next are the arm extended flexions. We're up in five, four, three, two, one. And this time, switch sides halfway through. I'm just gonna stick with this side because my shoulders are aggravating me. Keep going. Switch sides. People who are following along. Oh, feeling the burn. We're almost there. All right, that was tough. Next are the tuck jumps. I love those things. Don't you? All right, we're up in three, two, one. Here we go. Yeah. Oh, good, Jake's getting another picture. That's what I like. Good stuff. Just hold your thumb down, dude. It takes like rapid fire. <laughs> I gotta teach this guy everything. <laughs> I'm just kidding. He's actually taught me a lot with editing, computers, all kinds of stuff. Check out his channel. Relentless Fit 365. But if you're following me, you're probably following him as well. Because most followers, there's followers, subscribers, oh, subscribe to both. All right, Whew. hip outs next. All right, so we're gonna go in another five, four, three, two, one. Here we go. Keep it going, folks. Get that nice full range out. Motion. Keep going. Another 15 seconds or so. Doing well. Almost there. All right. There we go. Next, squat, curl, jump and press. Grab these dumbbells. Somehow they keep rolling away from me. All right, here we go. Squat, curl, jump and press. Squat, curl, jump and press. Keep it going. 
You can see I'm dripping sweat. This is not easy. This is tough. Side view. Squat. Curl. Jumping press. Squat. Curl. Jumping press. Almost there. Doing well. We have about five seconds left. And oh, last one. Let's let those down. All right, next are the V-sits. V-sits are actually nice with this circuit. It's like a break. Here we go. Again, if I come back slow and controlled like that, that's really gonna activate my core. Give me the side view. Twenty seconds left. Keep it going. And we're almost done, folks. Stick with me, and you'll be finished with 30 minutes of total body annihilation. All right, two more left. All right. So next, we're going. I'm going into the plank where I extend one arm and one leg. You at home, feel free to do the dips or do this one with me. You can actually alternate sides if you want. All right, so here we go. And I'm just gonna extend and I back down. Extend, stabilize, back down. Extend, back down. Oh, my footing is slipping out because all my sweat. I scoot over. I was in a puddle, my foot was in a puddle of sweat. You know, we're working hard when there's a puddle of sweat and your foot is slipping out in it. Keep it going. We're almost there. Let's hold this one. Three, two, one. All right. Last exercise. Burpees. In five, four, Three, two, one, last one. Let's go. Also, if you go down on your fingertips, that makes it a little more challenging. That's what I'm doing since I'm not doing the push up. This works on that grip strength. Finger strength, hand strength. We're almost there. Keep going. Don't stop. Let's do it. One more. Yes. Done. Done ski. All right, so there you go, folks. That was 10 different exercises. 45 seconds on, 15 seconds off. Again, that was a total body exercise routine. We were working the frontal plane, sagittal plane, just basically all the different areas of our body. Strength, speed, endurance, power, everything. And also for all of you out there who listened in the beginning uh, and ride a bike, make sure you wear a helmet because that helmet definitely saved my skull from getting smashed and cracked on the concrete. That would not have been good because well, my family, I hope, would be sad. And also, I wouldn't be able to provide these awesome workout videos for everyone at home watching. So thanks again for watching. Remember, you don't have to be an athlete. You train like an athlete. Let's do it.